Hey, Math Aces, and welcome to Mr. Ace Math. In this video, we're going to find the factors for the number 75. In order to find those factors, we're going to use something called factor pairs. And factor pairs are a pair of factors, obviously, that give you a certain number when multiplied. So basically, we're going to find two numbers that we can multiply to get 75. The best way to start is by starting with the number 1 and the number itself. So that means our first factor pair will be 1 times 75. And this means that 1 is a factor of 75 and 75 is a factor of 75. After we start with this first factor pair, we should go to the number after 1 that can go into 75. 2 can't go into 75 because 75 isn't an even number. So let's go to the next number, which is the number 3. Can 3 go into 75? Well, let's check. To see if 3 is a factor of 75, we're going to have to take 75 and then divide it by 3. If 3 goes into 75 evenly with no remainder, then it is a factor of 75. And if it cannot go into 75 evenly, then it is not a factor of 75. So let's start our division. How many times can 3 go into 7? Well, that's 2 times. So we'll put a 2 on top of the 7 because 2 times 3 equals 6. When we subtract that, we get 1. The next step is to bring down the 5 and then repeat the process. Can 3 go into 15? Absolutely. And how many times can that happen? Well, that's 5. So we'll put a 5 above this digit here because 5 times 3 equals 15. And when we subtract that, we get a remainder of 0, which is exactly what we want because that means that 3 goes into 75 evenly with no remainder. So what would our factor pair be? Since we divided 75 by 3 and got 25, this means that our factor pair is 3 times 25. And just to show you that's true, I'll work it out right here. 25 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Bring down the 5, carry the 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus this 1 is 7. So 25 times 3 is 75. So let's put 3 times 25 as our next factor pair. So we know 3 can go into 75, 4 can't go into 75, but because 75 ends with the digit 5, that means 5 is definitely a factor of 75. And how many times can 5 go into 75? Let's find out. So we'll start with 75. And divide that by 5. 5 goes into 7 one time. And 1 times 5 is 5. When we subtract, we get 2. So our remainder is 2. Now we have to bring down the 5 and repeat the process. How many times can 5 go into 25? Well, that's 5 times. And 5 times 5 is 25. When we subtract that, we get 0, and that's perfect because that's exactly what we want. Because this means that 5 can go into 75 with no remainder, making it a factor of 75. And this means our factor pair will be 5 times 15. And just to show you that it works, let's multiply it out. 
15 times 5. So we've got 15 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Bring around the 5 and carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5. And 5 plus 2 is 7. Which gives us 75. And this means our next factor pair is 5 times 15. And let's put that with our list. Now 6 can't go into 75, 7 can't, neither can 8, or 9, or 10, or 11, or 12, or 13, or 14, but 15 can. And since we already have the number 15 in our list of factor pairs, that means we're done. And we can write our factors in order from least to greatest by going around our list of factor pairs. So we could say the factors of 75 are 1, 3, 5, 15, twenty five. and 75. So there you go, math aces. Just like that, we've got the factors of 75. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in math class. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions, comments, leave them down below. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.